Johnny's game drive has taken a little turn towards a bit of excitement. We heard some lines calling throughout the entire night last night. Managed to then find the Scoro Junior male. It's in a male that comes from a much further north of us. He's a lone male. He's been roaming around here scent marking and calling, which is advertising his presence and essentially trying to make his name known around here. So this morning we found him and he was roaming around and he was contact calling and then roaring, scent marking, which is all very exciting except pretty brave for a young male. We then followed him through calling, scent marking, and it was a fantastic sighting. He settled down for a bit. We got some really cool shots of Keegan and his guests in the background. We then followed him down towards the Sand River where he then disappeared into some of the thicker Phragmites and uh, we could not follow him. As we were leaving, Andrea's now just found what looks like the two black dam males. And they're now moving in pretty silently, which is often a sure sign that they have some pretty serious intentions. They don't want to make themselves known in the area because essentially they've detected that there's a rival or a threat in here and they're wanting to sneak in and sneak up on the other rival. So they've come down and dropped into the Sand River, basically where we lost the other male this morning. So we're now just getting ourselves in there to see what happens. We're not too sure where the other male settled down. But as you can see behind me over here is where these two pretty impressive black dam males are. And so we're just going to see what happens now. They seem to have settled down in the shade here. Which means that they might now just rest it out for now. They're not too sure where the other line is. But with the way the other one was moving around, the squirrel junior male was moving around this morning. He may potentially call again, which basically then just gives himself away to these two males because I'm pretty sure he's unaware that these two are on his tail. So anyways, very exciting this morning. Let's see what unfolds here. It could all fizzle out and end up in 
absolutely nothing but there is a slight chance that there could be some conflict between these two groups of lions. Well, I won't lie, it's been pretty spectacular. These two fairly impressive lions are just resting out in the shade here. And we've got a whole herd of elephants all crossing through the river behind us there. There's actually one coming down now. Let's see if we can get a cool shot. Pretty awesome to have at least two of the big five right here. Not too sure if much more is going to happen with these lions in the pursuit of the score or junior male. So what we might do is come back across here this afternoon. See if there's any further action or activity. So this afternoon we're starting off on a pretty busy road in camp because we have a little trail or a procession of some moth caterpillars. These are known as procession moth caterpillars. And you can see how they're now all following each other here. They've come across the road, leaving a bit of a trail. Similar to that little procession that we saw of those gnat larvies not so long ago. These guys are, well they have a leader in the front that'll be finding or navigating their way across the road leaving a little strand of silk and the rest of them all tag along on that line of silk all going in single file across the road here. We've stationed ourselves this side so that nobody drives over them because obviously being in a road you're not really going to notice or pay attention to them. Somebody might squash them. So at least these guys have pretty much made it all the way across the road. Last little few of them coming across there. And um, now we're going to set off and go and try and find those male lions from this morning. So all is pretty calm and uh, casual at this stage. These lions have just been sleeping the entire afternoon. But should we hear that Squirrel Junior male call, I'm pretty sure these two will be up in a flash and be heading straight across there. So. What can be a very serene, calm, casual evening could turn into something a lot more intense very, very quickly. So we're just sitting around here now waiting, hoping that something does materialize. But anyways, we're getting very far ahead of ourselves this evening. At the moment, all we need them to do is actually just sit up and uh, expose their heads and faces to us, maybe groom, yawn. That might be some pretty cool stuff to get some shots of. And then from there, we'll take it as it comes. Okay, we've just heard another lion calling, most likely the squirrel junior. These two black damn males are now up and walking in stealth mode, silently, towards that other male. I need to now loop around because I cannot follow these black damn males where they're going. So I'm going to try and get ourselves around there as quickly as possible and hopefully get there in time before there is any altercation. The squirrel junior male, or the other lion we heard calling, sounded probably about 300 meters away, so that's not far at all. Crisis, this is going to get tense this evening. Okay, we've just bumped into the Squirrel Junior male. He's letting off a soft contact call. The Black Dam males must probably be about 150 meters behind him, so things are getting very, very close now. Mm. at the moment. The squirrel junior male is walking through a clearing. 
I don't want to shine the spotlight on him, the impala that are alarming at him, or the black damn males. Not necessarily pleasant, not necessarily happy or excited as to what's going to happen, but just simply being here in the presence of three male lions that are most likely going to battle it out for the rights to this territory. You can hear the Scoro Junior male calling again. Yeah, I firm. Um, Scoro Junior is unaware of their presence at this stage. Right, so things got very intense there. After waiting for about five minutes, we heard the bushes erupt and what sounded like the Squirrel Junior male sprinting for his life. After trying to crash through and follow them through some of the thick vegetation, we've now found the two black dam males. They don't look like they've got too much blood on them at all. So I don't think they managed to pin down the Squirrel Junior male. He would have tried to make it out of here as quickly as possible because he doesn't want to get caught by these two males. These two are looking awfully relaxed, given that an intruder was walking straight through their territory, calling. So I'm flabbergasted as to what's happening. And so, let's just see what happens now. It's quite likely the Squirrel Junior male is headed for the hills. He's not going to be hanging around anywhere near. So I think the activity or the action for this evening has died down or whittled down or whittled away as we were on the edge of our seats waiting for something to happen. I'm glad it's all ended well and there isn't any tragedy at the end of this evening. But if you're enjoying these virtual safaris, give this video a like, share it with all your friends, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. But for now, we're going to let these lions resolve their issue without us being around here. Come through in the morning, see what's happened. But what an exhilarating afternoon. junior male sticks it out or if he heads back further north and west from here. Anyways that's enough from me. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and bye for now.